Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sailor Sky Inspirations. Um, on this episode, I want to talk to you about standing up for yourself and your authenticity. So before we get started, um, this video is simply my opinion and my experiences. I am not a licensed mental health professional or a therapist or anything like that, just my experiences and my opinions. So let's get started. Standing up for yourself. So when you are mistreated and disrespected, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for your authenticity. No one is going to do it for you. And when I say this, and I say standing up for yourself, that doesn't mean returning disrespect with abuse or more mistreatment or violence or anything like that. To stand up for yourself, you can do that in a sensitive, kind, gentle way or a strong, authoritative way. And don't get me wrong, I've been in situations where I've let my anger and my temper get the best of me. And I've said things that um, I later regretted. And that happens. And let's just get this straight. You can forgive yourself for that and try better next time. Um, However, when we come in contact with people who repeatedly mistreat us or disrespect us or even bully us, it's not okay. And growing up, a lot of us have been taught to not say anything, um, be silent, don't give in, don't don't uh, react. And in some situations, yes, that can work. But I personally feel, and in my situation, um, I feel like you most certainly can stand up to someone and set a boundary, letting them know that you're not going to take the disrespect. You're not going to be treated as a doormat. You're not going to be abused or bullied um, in the workplace by a spouse, by a partner, by a sibling, by a parent, um, by anyone. It's just you don't have to sit there and take that on. It's not something that you have to do. How can you um, assert yourself? You can assert yourself in a way by saying, I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. I don't appreciate you disrespecting me or mistreating me. And unfortunately, with some of these people, um, especially people with, you know, traits of narcissism, it's like fighting a rock. Because some of these people just don't have the capability or the empathy to see where you're coming from. They don't care where you're coming from. And they've not done the work to even be on the same level as you. So you could try to describe to them, tell them till you're blue in the face how you're feeling, how their words or their treatment hurt you, or what you're feeling, and they just won't get it. And... It's like arguing that the sky is blue. You can clearly see that the sky is blue, but this other person just doesn't believe you. They believe it's purple or it's orange. You just won't win with some of these people. And for me, in those cases, um, that's when no response, no reaction is needed because no matter what you say or do, you're never going to be right. They are out there to just misunderstand you. And as sad as that is, relationships like that need to end because it will just be constant conflict, tension, and fighting. Um, Those people have a one-tracked mind and you're just someone that they, or probably everybody, they just cannot see past their own selfish ways. You must also understand that when you do decide to stand up for yourself and let people know that you are setting a boundary, there are consequences for actions and words. And that goes both ways. There are consequences for someone mistreating you. And there are also consequences for standing up for yourself. Um, And you can't be afraid of those consequences because ultimately letting go and getting rid of 
negative people in your life is freeing and allows you to be more authentic to yourself because you're not holding on to that negative baggage. Um, And after standing up for yourself, they may go on to slander your name and, you know, spew lies and hatred and not really tell the truth of what happened. But who cares? Let them do that. Um, I watched a podcast with Mel Robbins and the Let Them Theory. If you can go over to her page and check that out, it is awesome. Um, Let them. If they want to be miserable and slander your name, just let them. There's no sense in defending yourself because the truth will come out. People will see. And it doesn't really matter what people think. Or it doesn't. It doesn't matter what people think or say about you because you're doing the work on you. You're focusing on you. And that's all that matters. If you give 100% of your time and effort to yourself and making your life better, it does not matter what everyone around you thinks, says, or does because as you elevate and your frequency rises, you will attract people of the same frequency. And all those people that were mistreating you will fall away. And it's that initial um, shock that when you start to do the work and you start to see the people falling away, it's painful. It hurts to see people you've known your whole entire life start to change and act differently and not be kind and not be nice. It's because you're leveling up and they're not. They are no longer at your frequency and you're not aligning. So they're falling away. It is painful. It is sad. But it's the realization that it has to happen. You cannot go where you are meant to go with these people. Um, It's just sad. It's upsetting. But in the end, you are leveling up. You're healing. You're free. And you're living a better life. What I have learned on my healing journey is that my light is going to disturb people's darkness. Some people don't want to work on themselves. They don't want to make themselves feel better. And when they see someone trying to live a better life, uh, do things right, level up, it disturbs them to their core. But that is not your problem. When, When I sense someone throwing shade or being disrespectful or, you know, throwing a snide comment, I recognize that immediately and usually the interaction is done. Where before I would I would try to hold on to those relationships, those friends, those people. I would um you know ruminate, "Oh, why did they say this? Why did they do that?" and I would um just worry about why why they say that? Why are they treating me that way? No, not anymore. Once you catch that vibe, cut it off. It's done. You cannot be around people who are jealous, envious, um, insecure. It's just not going to work. Anyone who is not happy to see another person succeeding or leveling up, you don't want to be around that. You cannot succeed with that kind of toxicity around you. I want to see everybody win. I want to see everybody succeed. Um, So why would someone want to bring negativity and failure towards me when I want to see them win. So as soon as I sense that, it's done. And I've gotten pretty good with completely cutting people off. I know that sounds really blunt and harsh, but sometimes it's absolutely necessary to cut people off. Burn that bridge. Let them go. Because it's not going to bring goodness to your life. It's not going to help you succeed. Those people are there for a reason, um, but you do not have to interact with them. You do not have to engage them. You do not have to be anything with them, and that's okay. And They don't even need really an explanation. I used to find myself explaining to people um, why why I'm doing something or why I made this life choice that really has nothing to do with them. It doesn't affect them at all. And I'm sitting here explaining my life choices that don't concern them. No, not anymore. You don't owe anyone an explanation for buying a new car, changing your job, um, dyeing your hair, cutting your hair, whatever, whatever it is. Um, 
you do not owe anyone an explanation of how you live your life or why you do things. As long as you're not hurting anybody, it doesn't concern them. You're doing everything right. Um, it's nobody's business what you do because jealousy, envy, it's just not good. Once that gets in, it's toxic. It's a disease. It just completely um, just, it's, it's like a, disease that takes over a relationship. It's just very toxic to be around people who are very insecure and it's not worth your time to even try to sit there and try to please these people, make them see your your reasoning, just cut them off. Be done. Let it go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you can stand up for yourself and assert yourself, and live a happy, full life. And um, I'll be back with more content. And if you can, give this a like and subscribe because that helps my channel and it gets it out to people who need it. So I love you all. Bye.